Hey everybody, just want to take a quick minute to go over the differences between an instant group and a, the actual group system inside Logic. This may be something that there's a little confusion about, and so I thought this is just a great topic to revisit. There are two ways to do groups inside Logic. The first is through the actual group system. That's where we come through in the mixer, and where it says group, we actually assign things to different groups. So you can see I can assign this track to group one or group two. If I do it to two, it would be a new group. We can give them names up here. We can actually do some pretty cool things with these. In the settings, you can see we can make editing a group. We can do track alternatives as a group. Automation, volume, sends, inputs, color, zoom, hiding, all of that stuff can be all looped together with these groups. And all you need to do is keep this open so you can deactivate the groups if you want to, turn them on and off. We can also close that and we can actually unassign these to any of the groups that we want to. Now one thing that you can't do is have one channel be assigned to two different groups. Now I can see why that may be the case. You don't want to cross groups over, but for some things, like I might want to do some precision editing here with one group, but have a different group for volume. So I think that there's some room there where we actually in the future, or there's the possibility of the usefulness of having overlapping groups for various things. Now the other group we can do are the instant groups. So I can just select using my command key, various tracks, and they become a temporary group. And I can do things in here, like add different buses across to all of them. I can do volume changes. We can do changes of automation mode. Almost all the same things, except we're doing it just instantly with all selected channels. This is the way I most often work with groups is because it's just easier just to make a quick selection, but there are some things like drums or guitars or even a bunch of vocals that make sense to make these other more official groups, but I'm typically using both of these on any given project all the time, especially the instant groups, which are just so easy just to make a selection, make some changes as a group, and then let that group go. Okay, that's all I want to talk about today is just showcasing this little difference between these two different groups. Hope this is helpful. Hope you're having a great week. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I will see you in the next video.